I wasn't mad. I was scared. You scared. I You're didn't scared. want you. I'm like, just give him. Give it whatever he wants. Oh, no. I gave it to him. I'm in a blast hole. I'm in a spaceship. I'm in a NASCAR. Nice and they gon' hate this. I'm a fighter. Zoom in. I'm a take. Man, y'all not even gonna believe this shit. Some people might. Some people might not. But I just got robbed for like $50,000 in jewelry, guys, at gunpoint. I'm explain more later. But I was at the mall with Jordan, and you know I have her sit down with me later on today. Uh, we were literally at Forever Twenty One getting some stuff, and I think he followed me. You know what I mean? Bro, that shit was crazy, bro. You know what I mean? Like, my mom told me like, every time, like, yo, bro, don't wear that jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm thinking, you know, shit's, you know, I'm like, bro, I'm like, it's jewelry, bro. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but to niggas that's broke, to niggas that's hungry, it's the biggest deal ever, bro. And it's this is the biggest eye opener. I'm just glad that. You know, I'm okay. Jordan's okay. Um, you know, a lot of people told me not to share the story with you guys, but shit, why not? You know what I mean? Like, and guys, just so you don't think I'm lying, I'm not lying. You know what I mean? So, like I said, Jordan and I are going to sit down later and, you know, talk about everything, but. <sighs> you alright, baby? No. Yep, I'm talking to the vlog. It's too scary. That was the craziest shit I've ever seen in my I life. I would, I would, you can have it. For my life, you can have it. it ain't even that deep. Nah, well, I seen the guy, bro. I, we're gonna explain later, but I, I seen the guy run with a gun out. He had, the, he, when he was running, he had the, he had the gun out already on us. Mm -hmm. He was like, he was looking at, but Jordan, Jordan was driving. Jordan, when you went to the front seat. I went to the driver's seat, and when I realized that you weren't in the car, I'm like, what the hell? That's why I looked back and I saw him. I'm like. Oh no, we getting robbed and I got out the car and remember I went around the back. I'm like, yo, Andrew, you okay? And I saw you, you know, giving him your stuff. He looked at me and I kind of just did this, like I don't have nothing. And then he he and then he went through the car. He let me go. He didn't take nothing. Yeah guys, so that's what uh that's what went down today. Um like I said, we're gonna sit down later and explain a little more and give you guys updates. But they got the canine dog over there. As you can see, sniffing everything out. But man, that was an experience, you know, that I've never been through in my life. And I come from the hood, you know what I mean? I I like, I'm, I'm well respected I'm a hood So you know Me going to different places I'm thinking the same thing You know what I mean But it's it's totally different This is an eye opener Eye opener bro You know Now next time you see me Security Next time you see me Strap You know So There was a lot of things That I was lacking on my end So you know I can I can only blame But so many people You know what I mean It's not everybody's fault I feel fault. like we just got too comfortable Thinking nothing like this Could ever happen Nothing Nothing like that That's a fact But that's a rude fucking awakening That's a rude awakening Anything can happen to anybody I'm cool. I don't want to hear the comments saying, oh, y'all deserve no fuck all that. No one deserves to get anything taken from them nah, at gunpoint. Nobody. Know. I don't care which. Not, nobody. Not, not, not when I work as hard as I do, bro. Fuck This no. shit came from the muscle. And but it's cool. Sorry, guys. The cop was coming. But, um, yeah, bro. We, we bust our ass every day. You know what I mean? Show our lives. And this is how we get. We give this return. This is a major. Right? This is going to be a minor setback yeah, for this, me. This, this ain't shit, y'all. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to be none of that shit. But, but it's cool because that comeback going to be a lot crazier than this. Oh, so uh, nigga. It's, it's, blessings to you, whoever took it. Yo, know, I, I hope, you know, nothing but well and joy from the jewelry that you guys took. You know what I mean? So. Y'all yeah. karma going to get you in another way. That's a fact. Yes. He came from that way. Mm -hmm. he ran, you saw him run towards you. Yo, well, I, it was weird because I'm like, I look, right? I look and I look back again. I'm like, I know I'm not getting fucking robbed. And I'm like, I don't know, bro. And you know what's funny, bro? The other day, I go to the mall, I carry the gun with me. I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not by myself. I take my gun with me. Today, I'm like, you know what? I, I, guys, the reason why I don't like carrying a gun, my biggest, well, before, now, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, sure my biggest thing was getting in trouble and losing my life for shooting somebody. And if I had my gun with me, I could have shot that nigga while he was running. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know, bro. Who to know? If you would have seen the gun on me, he would probably took the gun off me while he was taking my juice. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there's nothing I could have done. I, I feel like everything right. happens for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, my bad, guys. So I'm just trying to explain everything, you know, talk to the cops. You know, I'm just, God, thank God we're okay. Thank God. I got so sick to my stomach. You, Jordan's about to throw up. I'm just thank God nobody got hurt. You know what I mean? Like, Yo, you really could have lost your life over fucking over 50 G's. A fucking jewelry. It's cool. Because if you really want to go and get that shit tomorrow, you can go get that shit tomorrow and, and not even care. And that's the truth. But right now, we just, nah, we're cool. going to game plan. We're we going to game plan, guys. We so game plan. It is what it is. Next time you see me, <laughs> I will have security. Like, there's there's no if, ands, or buts. Like, there's, 
There's nobody coming up to you randomly no more. That shit dead. I'm sorry. No. Nope. That shit dead. We no, gotta no, protect no. ours now. Imagine if my daughter was in the car. Imagine if Paris was in the car. You fucking kidding me? I, honestly, I don't even want jewelry no more. And and it's not even to say, yo, brap, you you bitch and you scared. Wow. I, the jewelry, that's why they did it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why we got ran up on because I had my chains. And you know, and I'm not trying to be cocky. My chains are different from everybody else's chains. But my shit's like, yo, you see that shit? Like, yo, that shit's. That's just different. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you decide to ever want jewelry again, security, okay? I'm not, I'm not doing this no more. This is a, a serious lesson learned. I'm cool. I don't even want jewelry. And I'm cool. He didn't take nothing, nothing. So that shit, he knew who you was. Because I had changed. He could have took it. He saw me. I went like this. And he only took what you had because he knew who you were. I don't care. Nobody says he was following us. That shit was, was premeditated. They knew who you was. They got the scoop on that shit. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wasn't wearing gloves? Nope, no gloves. Any tattoos on the hands? I don't remember. I'm not going to lie to you. I, he, I think he I think he grabbed the handle of the door. Inside here he grabbed to see if I had money. Yeah, yeah man, so. <sighs> I've never been robbed in my life. It's the first time for everything, I'll tell you that much. But we moving. I'm cool. What I tell you the other day. Yeah, I'm, guys. We're actually, we're, you know, we're in the process of moving. I just got the confirmation today that yeah, we go. Yeah, we're moving and we're, um, you know, we're, we're, we're hiding this time, bro. Like, when I'm not showing nobody where I live at, I'm not, you know, I was trying to be too nice. I was trying to be too and much I of a YouTuber. You. And then Jordan said it. She was like, yo, don't do that shit. Okay. All right. So, yep, that's what's going on now, as you guys can see. It's crazy. Okay, and you know, I'm guys, I'm not, I'm not even mad. The Jordan was more mad than me. I wasn't mad, I was scared. You scared. You I scared. didn't want you, I'm like, just give him, give it whatever he wants. Oh no, I gave it to him. Hey guys, leaving the scene now. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Go home. And uh, I guess we'll talk when we get to the crib. Let's go. Thank you. You Thank have a good you. one, boss. Hope things work better for you, all right? Ah, man, life, life's amazing, bro. It's okay. This is a little bump in the road, man. This is just a little bump. It's okay. It's a little bump in the road. I'm not stressing it. People, you know, they did this. You know, I'm just, I'm going to go harder. That's all it is, guys. I'm going to go harder. Buy a bigger chain. Bigger house. Better car. And it, this is not to shit on anybody. It's not to stun on nobody. This is just to prove that, you know, with every downfall, there's a big-ass outcome. You know what I'm saying? There's, the, there's something huge coming for me. There's something big awaiting and you know before i got that big awaiting before i got that big prize before i got that big energy before i got that big whatever it's next god wanted me to go through something like this so i know what to do when i get these tens and tens of millions of dollars god wants me to go through something like this so when i you know when, I, when i'm even bigger than i am now i know what to do you know what i'm saying and i know what to do i, I like i was thinking shit was sweet guys and that that was so bad that was so wrong but no, Jordan said, yo, you can't move like that. You can't move like that. You know, me being ignorant, young, 22 years old. Had, the age has nothing to do with it, but, you know, it, it is what it is. That I, I'm recording this, guys, to show you, too. Like, if you you got some type of platform, you got some type of image, you, got, you are some type of somebody, protect yourself, bro. Because this could have been the last day on earth for me. You know what I'm saying? And this is real life shit, y'all. Like, I could have witnessed you dying right Yeah, now. literally. I could have got shot for fucking $50,000 in jewelry. Which is not worth it because I make more than that a month. They, people would like, fuck that shit. You know, I, I call people like, they're like, yo, I would have fucking fought. I'm like, no, fuck fighting. What you mean fight? Fought for what, bro? Like, this is something that we can go get this month. We go to tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we just we just got to boss up and boss up in different ways. Not fuck bigger jewelry. Fuck all that shit. We're going to boss up smarter. Move better. So, all right, we, we'll talk to you guys when we get to the crib. Let me just drive home. <sighs> all righty. Where do we even start? It was a great day today. It started off as a great day. It started off as a great day. It, we, it, it definitely was. So, um, yeah. So, we have a lot of people saying some dumb shit on the internet. You know, which we're always going to have. But, you know, I want to come on here and, you know, I explained a little bit a little bit early in the vlog. You know, bits and pieces of it. But I want to explain everything that happened. And, you know, you know, our feelings and our emotions on what's going on. And, you know, how are we going to prevent this in the future? And how, you know... We're just gonna move smarter and just do different things, guys. 
Um, let me say this first things first, being on social media is one of the hardest things, one of the hardest jobs to ever do. You know, um, my boy Corey said it, the, or, the, you know, the best is like, this shit's hard. This is different. This is, uh, this is different to being a fucking NBA player, basketball, you know, football, whatever what it is. What is one of our arguments all the time behind the clothes, behind the camera? Oh, you know? which one? What is one of our biggest arguments when you're like, oh, do YouTube? And what do I always tell you? You don't, wanna, you don't wanna be in the spotlight. I don't wanna be yeah. in the spotlight. I just feel like you still, we you know, we talk about that later, but you still move different, you know. I I think I was just doing too much, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm gonna put some blame on me, but I'm not gonna put the whole blame on me because you still got, you know, broke ass people that wanna, you know, take what people have. You know, when I, I bust my ass every day to get what I have, I get up every day to work. You know, I'm no different than you, you're no different than me. We can all make money, you know what I'm saying? But people rather just eat it the easy way, you know? I'm not mad at the guy who robbed me. I'm not. I promise you I'm not. You know, you can have it. You know, blessings, bro. You know, but if, you know, I hope nothing but the best and the worst for you. Seriously. And I mean that respectfully. So let's let's just get into, you know, what happened. And so we went to the, we went to we went to an outlet. You know, we went to an outlet. We was watching. We was in Gucci. We was in Prada. I did have all my jewelry on, guys. So, you know, me walking. I seen a couple fans. We took, like, two pictures, whatever it was. One picture, whatever it was. And then the boy that commented on your watch. There was another one. It was, like, it was a real, like, yeah, loud Yeah, it was a real. Today. It, was it real, didn't feel right. It was a real loud It was. People were like, dang, your jewelry, your tattoos, da, da, da. So it was, like, too many people. People were seeing me. Then a fan ran up to me. He's like, oh, my phone there left. And then came back. It was just some weird shit that you happened never today. Know if you I don't somebody. know who was who, guys. But we left one outlet. Right across the street, it was another outlet. And what is this outlet? What is this mall called? Because violent, violent, violent Orlando. Premium yeah, bro, outlet. we gotta we gotta talk about this shit because one, this mall had no security ca cameras outside. But before that, this is on I Drive. If anybody, I don't think it's on I Drive. It's not on I Drive. We turned on International Drive to get to it. Wait, yes, was we did. It? It was yes, international we did. Drive? It's on International Drive. I could put my life on this. I I I drove there, so I know. You turn on I Drive and you keep going. The problem is this is a this is a high tourist area. That's where ev anybody that visits Orlando they go to I Drive. Everybody knows yeah, it's international it's drive. Yeah, it's violent. Um, premium violent outlets. premium outlets, guys. We was there just shopping around. So you know it, it's 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 crazy, bro. Because you would think you know coming to Orlando, coming to a place like that, a, a tourist attraction, you'll be safe. But it's it's opposite. No security was walking around. No security cameras, not even there. So we got robbed, and nobody knows how we got robbed. Nobody we got even robbed knows. in broad daylight. Broad daylight. Nobody even knows who the guy like what the guy looks like. You know, only we do. And God knows who's gonna catch this. You know what I'm saying? So that outlet is not that's not safe, bro. Like that's you know no. what I'm saying? Like. Especially Violent Orlando premium outlets, y'all gotta do better. Because y'all have designer, high-end stores over there, and none of y'all have cameras on the outside. None. That whole plaza has no cameras. So someone really can rob you and get the fuck away with it at the end of the day. And That's I, some negative shit. And for me, shit. you know, I'm never going back there again. Nope. And it's not because I'm scared. Nah, it's just because that is dumb for me. You know what I'm saying? Now I gotta hire five security guards to go to that one mall. That's stupid, bro. I would never go to that mall again in my life. Oh, cool. And, I, and honestly, I, I recommend you guys never go to that mall because of what happened. You know what I'm saying? You could be next. You know what I'm saying? Somebody just plotting, waiting on you. That's just dumb, bro. Like, that mall is not safe. And for safe. anyone saying, oh, you guys posted it? Nope. Nope. It was not we, even on social media. We didn't media. post on social media. I didn't, even, I didn't even post my day. I didn't even wake up and do a motivational speech today. No, we just wanted to be normal for yeah, a change. bro. That's it. Just spend some time together. So, we leave the, we leave the, we leave in the outlet. You know, we leave in the second part of it. And, bro, I hear footsteps. Like, doom, doom, doom. I look back. He said, yo, run that shit. The gun pointing at me. I'm like, oh, my God, bro. Like... And honestly, yo, until you're in this position, you don't know how it feels. I wasn't scared. I was super calm. I was super I chill. Was Jordan was screaming. You know what I'm saying? But I was super calm. I'm like, damn, how can I get away from this? You know what I'm thinking? I'm like, yo, just get a nigga your jewelry, bro. You know, it's not that big of a deal, bro. You At know that what I'm moment, saying? people were like, probably like, oh, where was Jordan? I was in the car. Yeah. Something was like, damn, why ain't Ainge in the car? He was just putting the bags yeah. in there. So basically, I, I, said, I said, babe, give me the bags. I mm -hmm. opened the, my back door, put the bag in, and when I looked this way, I seen a nigga like this. I'm like, ah. Fuck. Yeah. So Jordan, you're like, you're like, um, yeah, where you at? I look you, to you my around. right. I see a bull. No, I look to my right in the car. I seen a bull, and I seen you taking one of your chains off. I'm like, no, we're fucking getting robbed. That's when I got out the car and went around. Like, yo, Angel, you good? You good? You good? And he looked at me, and I just put my hands up, cause I, I don't want to think I had anything. I don't think he saw my ring, cause my ring was like this. So he didn't even get a chance to see it. But he didn't even snatch nothing. He looked at me after you gave him everything. He, he said, where the money? And that's when he opened up and went through the car. And I said, ah, we don't carry cash. You know, we, that, we that's one thing we don't do. We, you know, we, we don't carry cash. We rec recommend that off you guys as well. Don't carry cash. You know, so once that was happening, I'm just like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Like, it's just, there's so many emotions going through my mind and my brain. Like, it's really hard to explain it. Everything felt slow. And it took me a long time to take my jewelry off. 
because my, my jewelry is very secure. I had like three clamps on it, my tennis chain, everything. So I'm just, I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I don't I'm care rushing. what nobody says. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I would even want Angel to react to lose his life over Oh, huh, no, bro. I because y'all didn't see his eyes. You didn't see that he had nothing to oh, lose nothing, today. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Whoever that guy was, he's probably watching this video and nigga, you the hungriest nigga I know. And bro, and if you put that drive and energy into something else, you probably become a millionaire. But since you're doing shit like this, you will never be anybody. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Your karma going to get you, you know what I'm and that's you, cool. Whoever it is, you, you will never overcome where you are now. You're fucked. You're stuck. You get what I'm saying? And that sucks, bro, because, nigga, that drive, I, you know, we seen, nigga, we, we turn everything to a positive, bro. You could have turned that money, you know what I'm saying, whatever it was, but you fucked your life up, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is, but... You know, that, that shit was just, it was a hard experience. It was crazy. And I, I learned a lot from that, guys. I learned so much. Like, now I'm not leaving the house by myself. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going nowhere without security. We're going to just um, take better precautions. 100%. You know, as far as where we're moving, you're not going to be allowed with that anymore. And guys, this is really a lesson learned from. So I tried to tell Angel, you know, he is a somebody. He needs to move quieter. And it's hard being, he's, he's not dumb. I don't want people saying, oh, he's young and dumb. No. He's just somebody that works hard for and tries to school people on it. That's all. But clearly, you've learned your lesson. 100%. That social media can be used against you. 100%. Because we got lined up at a fucking mall in front of thousands of people that no one came to help. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Nobody's going to come to help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. That was my day. Um, I wanted to share with you guys and let you guys know that, you know, just be safe, bro. You know, people out here watching, people out here lurking. I always knew, but you know, I'm always, I'm such a positive guy. I don't have beef with not single, not one person on this damn planet. So I'm just like, you know, you know, I I, I keep that negative shit away from me. So, you know, I'm just like, you know, I'm wearing my jewelry. You know, people love me. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter how many people love you, nigga, niggas hate you. Bro. Yeah, nobody, yeah. There's no love. There's in no this love world. in we live this in world, bro. world. There's no love, and you know, it's it. I, I honestly, I blame eighty percent of this shit on me because the way I was moving. You know what I'm saying? My mom told me, bro. My mom said in the beginning, she's like, yo, Angel. You buying that jewelry, you need to move smarter. You need to move this. I'm like, oh, mom, we good. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. But I would tell you, hey, don't put that shit on social media. Babe, stop posting it. Yeah. Babe, stop, stop, stop. This is reality. You know, you know, we live in fear for you at the end of the day. I don't care what none of y'all say. Y'all don't live this fucking life. Unless you're with somebody of this magnitude, you wouldn't understand. Yeah. He risks his life every day going outside. You think this is what I wanted for you? Dude, you could have, yo, I could have watched you die in front of me today so for fucking jewelry. For fucking jewelry. Yeah. That's not something that I ever want to relive. I will never forget his face. Never. That shit is forever etched in my head. The way he looked. Though I will never fucking forget that. That was some scary shit. Y'all can call us pussies. I don't even give a fuck. He could have that shit. We still here. My daughter is... Thank God she's cool. Like, Because I thought about it. Yo, you would have been holding her. You would have been the one putting her in the car. Mm -hmm. And he ran up on you. P don't need to see this shit. Nah, nigga. So, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just glad it didn't happen. I'm glad we're good. And once again, bro, you know, and that, that guy, whoever robbed me, he messed it up for every single person that wants to take a picture with me. I will never take a picture with another fan in my life. I will never, um, I will never talk to another fan in my life. I'm going to keep real with you guys. I don't. And one... Ryan Apple spoils the whole tree. I swear to God. Like, that's the saying, babe? Yeah, and, because we know because, how it happened. You know it makes and fucking sense. I don't know who you guys are. I don't, and I'm, and you niggas guys. Niggas run up on you all the time, and I'll be scared. I'm like, yo, niggas, what the fuck? And niggas can call me selfish. Niggas can call me whatever. I don't want to take a picture with a single soul. You know, I was, I will, I will continue to live my life on social media. Continue to entertain. Continue to have fun. I'm not living in nobody's shadow. I'm not scared. I'm not pussy. I'm just moving smarter, and that's it, guys. You know, that that's and that's a lesson learned, and. Yeah, and so don't ever, you ever see me, don't even come up to me. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Like, I'm 99% of the time going to have security. 100% of the time I'm going to have security with me. And I don't want to take a picture with anybody. So please do not come up to me with anything. Um, no disrespect. No we disrespect. Love you guys. I love you guys. You know, you guys support me so much. But, you know, until you have something like this happen to you, you will understand. You know, shout out to my guy, Mr. Organic. He's, um... He had this shit happen to him. With him and Tall Guy Carbies, they came up to try to rob him. Mr. Organic had a strap on and they fought and everything. It was crazy. Yeah, that video's on YouTube too. Safari so. reached out to yeah, you. Yeah, Safari. My guy Safari reached out to me. My, my guy Austin, a whole bunch of, you know, influencers. It's crazy because he said he got robbed in Orlando too. Yeah, Austin got robbed at gunpoint in Orlando. So, you know, it's crazy, guys. You know, everybody thinks Orlando's beautiful and sunshine, Mickey Mouse, rainbows. Don't fucking come here. Like, the, stay the fuck away from Orlando. I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, I've been in Miami. I've been everywhere um, into the hoods in Miami, and I never, never had this issue. So, you know, um, smooth, smarter, stay the fuck away, and don't come to Orlando, guys. Like, everybody, like, all right, stay the fuck away. Seriously, guys. I mean, it can happen anywhere, but I don't advise you guys to be here. You know, I'm leaving. I'm actually going to another place, and I'm going to be discreet about it. I'm not telling you guys where I'm living. I'm not showing you guys where I'm living. 
I'm um, barely we gonna show you guys the house. Everything. We're revamping our lives to move a little smarter, a little easier. And yeah, man, so that's it. So I love you guys. Um, we are blessed. We are here. Um, we're going to make more money. And we're going um, to move smarter, guys. We're going to run it up. We're going to run it up, man. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the merch drop. Um, and yeah, that's it. I love y'all. Peace. I'm not, so I put on my team. He got a chop, so you say,